Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra, and here on my channel, we are all about real makeup for real life and real people. So if you are new here, Ta-da! I do wear color from time to time. I used to wear a lot more, um, and I don't know why that has changed, but today we're taking a little tiny detour from real makeup for real life and real people, whatever you interpret that as. Whatever is real makeup to you is real makeup to you, and you know, so on and so forth. But today is a collaboration with my girl Angela from Beauty and Life with Angela. She was formerly Beauty by Angela, so I will have her link down below if you haven't yet subscribed to her new channel. I would love if you would do that and let her know that I sent you. Today we're just doing a get ready with me and focusing on a St. Patrick's Day eye look, which is tomorrow in case you haven't checked your calendar. So I hope you enjoy seeing me create this look right here and we better get into it. So what I have on my skin already is the Ulta Beauty Mattifying Primer I'm working on in my Partners in Cream project. And then I got this little sample from the new brand at Sephora called Say, I believe is what you call that or how you say it, and it's the Glowy Super Gel Illuminator in the shade Star Glow. Very, very lightly highlight, and I wore that underneath my foundation. And the foundation is new to me. It is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade Light 6W, and it seems to be a pretty good shade match for me. I'm trying out the Wet n Wild Incognito, Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. I picked out the shade Light Beige. I'm liking this so far, but my under eyes are just not in good condition to really judge a concealer today. And then I mentioned in my community post uh, here on YouTube that I had picked up the Tatcha The Silk Powder and I'm wearing that for the first time today. Verdict's out, have no idea, just applied it. So now we're gonna move on to complexion. I'm gonna mostly speed through this because I really wanna focus on the fun green eyeshadows that I have pulled for today. So I'm gonna start things off by bronzing with this Take Home the Bronze from The Balm, and this is in the shade Oliver, which is the name of our Goldie who is sitting down below me and I don't want to call the beast. So I'm just going to quickly bronze up my face as I normally would. This is in my 21 pans in 2021, which is why I didn't show you the product itself, but it's just a matte bronzer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do highlighter next, and the highlighter I chose for today is in my Shop My Stash for March. It is the Estate Highlighter, the Estate Do Me, D-E-W, highlighter in the shade Bye, and that has three E's. <laughs> you're wondering this is a pretty hard pressed product and I think it's one of those where you kind of have to break through the crust a little bit which sounds terrible but I think you know all the time it's getting a little bit better and I do really like this color it's a really nice gold shade for my skin tone. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the zit on my upper lip. And then for blush in my monochromatic project for the month of March is the Persona Super Blush in the shade Georgia. This is the peach one. Our shades for March are peach and tan. I love the formula of this blush and it's just got such a pretty nice luminous quality without having any shimmer to it at all. It blends out beautifully and I really like, I like pink and green together. Because I wanted to go with more golden highlight today, I decided to go with peach. All right, now I'm gonna go in with a bit of a finishing powder. This is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. This is a nice 
finishing powder for sort of softening things up, blending things together. I don't know if you can tell the difference now between these two cheeks. The glow and all of that will come back, but this does sort of help blend everything together. And I'm also panning this in my 21 pans in 2021. This is a product that I like would like to hit pan on. All right, so I've already had my eye primer sitting on for a little while. It is the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. I find that this one works the best for me if I give it a good minute to sit on my face before ever going in with an eyeshadow. So it's been sitting on there for probably 15, 20 minutes. This is a little green palette that I put together for myself in honor of this video um, and just in honor of this month being St. Patrick's Day. And these are all from Sydney Grace. I do have more green shadows from Sydney Grace, but they all wouldn't fit in here. So this bottom row is completely matte and the rest are shimmer. I do think I want to use like somewhere in this vicinity. I really want like a bright bright, fun, springy green shade because I have been using darker greens throughout the month using my custom palette. So I'm going to start things off on the outer part of my lid and then up into my crease with that deepest matte green, which is Wildlife. And I do believe that one comes from their Mountain Trail bundle, which I'm not sure if it is still available, but if it is, I will link it below. So you probably have seen me do this little trick before, but what I like to do is apply my deepest shade on the outer, on the outer half to third of my eye, depending on the look I'm doing. And then I will pull it up into my crease just to, you know, get things started off. It helps get that lift exactly where I want it to be. So I'd love to know down in the comments if you'd like to share what, if anything, you do to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to use the same brush, no additional product, and just run this along the lower lash line to about the halfway point. So when I lived back in Nebraska, where all of my family was, we did typically get together at my mom's house on St. Patrick's Day because she is 100% Irish. So I am half Irish and the other half German. Both my parents are 100%. So my mom's 100% Irish. My dad's 100% German. So I'm half and half. But I have always been very fascinated by my Irish heritage and just learning about Ireland. I just really enjoy Irish history um, and things like that. My mom would typically make some kind of a sauerkraut dish, whether that be pork and sauerkraut or corned beef. Corned beef is not anybody's real favorite at my mom's house anymore, but I like, I like sauerkraut. I'm not a big corned beef person, but like, what do you do? Do you just celebrate with a green beer? Do you not care because you're not Irish? I don't know what it's like for other people, basically. I think to blend that out, I'm going to go in with this lightest cream right here. What are you cold? Sea breeze. Um, remember that horrible astringent toner stuff called Seabreeze? That's what makes me think of. Anyways, that is a new shade. Well, most of these in here are, or a lot of them are newer green shades for me. I was on a green kick when I made this order. Hmm. I don't know that that really has done much. Let's keep going. We'll make the other side match and then we'll try something else. That's the thing I find about some more pastel. I think if I laid this down with a more dense brush, it might work better. Okay, let's try a more dense brush. I like this brush from Delium Tools. It's part of the Golden Triangle Collection, and this is the 781 Crease Brush. But it's very dense. It picks up a good amount of product, 
and it's also smaller so it does keep things lower down in the crease. I really would prefer not to have eyeshadow up to my eyebrows today, but that seems to be the name of the game with me lately. It's it's like I forgot how to blend eyeshadow or something and I haven't even taken any time off. Ooh, that's just fluffing everywhere. I do like how it looks in the front of the crease, but not in terms of blending out that deep shade. All right, I'm gonna go into this next green right here which is Honeydew. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So Honeydew right here. Same denser brush and try and blend right here around the deeper shade. And if we have to go back in and reinforce the deeper shade, like that's not a problem. I just don't want it to be so harsh and such a stark gradient. It's not the greatest blend. I don't know what my deal is. Maybe I want to go in with this brush and that deepest shade again. I don't know why I'm leaning. I'm still getting used to my new mirror and I gotta say I don't love it. I do not love it. Okay I think that's as good as that's gonna get and I think that's all the further I want to take that. So this one is so fun, but I don't know that I want to go that vibrant today. Um, I do really like the looks of this shade, which is springtime, yes. And I definitely think I wanna use this um, green duochrome right here. I don't know why I'm picking it up. I know what it's called. It's called Green Mist. So I'm gonna first start out with springtime right here. Picking it up on sort of a pinched fluffy brush. This is the MAC 217 short handle. And kind of start this off in the middle of the lid. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. These Sydney Gray shadows are absolutely amazing. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and then we'll try it with a phalange and see how she do. Okay, let's try the phalange. Yes. Wow, that is such a stunning shade of green. Holy moly. All right, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take the green mist duochrome on my finger um, that's working pretty well for me today. And this is just gonna kind of lighten things up. It's kind of a white base with a green flip. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, because I can hear you guys screaming in the back here, I'm just gonna put a little touch of this along my lash line, sort of in the center of my lid here just because I can hear some of you like, we want the fluorescent green. I'll tell you in just a second what that one's called. That one is called Tempest. All right, little tiny bit more of the green mist shade. I can tell you we are going with a nude lip. <laughs> this look, holy cow. Ooh, but I do have a fun, I have a fun Lime Crime gloss that has green shimmer in it. Maybe I should use some of that. What I'm gonna do now is pop off of here, do some liner and mascara and a lip, and I'll save that special gloss for when I come back and show you the completed look. Holy moly, it's been a long time since I did a look this vibrant, and I am hoping and praying that liner and mascara pulls it all together for me because wow all right we are back <laughs> i feel like i need a little more bronzer and i'm going to use one of my normal bronzer brushes that i would normally make make use <laughs> 
feeling a little bit pale. Okay, so I went ahead and finished off the eyes with my brown Wet n Wild eyeliner. And then I did pick up over the weekend the e.l.f. Lash It Loud. I always want to say Lash Out Loud because that seems like the way it should be. But I am really liking this and I will keep you posted on that. And then so far on my lips, I have the Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Nude Entrance. Now I'm gonna put on just a little bit of my ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayon in the shade Gimme Some More. And now for the fun part. <laughs> and that is this one from Lime Crime. This is one of their Wet Cherry Glasses Glosses. And this one is in the shade Cherry Slime. How fun is this? It's not super duper apparent. In fact, I might just lightly blot on my Kleenex there. But I think it is a really fun color. And when I saw my friend Heather Austin apply this on her channel, I was like, yes, I definitely need that. That's super fun. Look at that. It's just fun. I'm definitely wearing this gloss on actual St. Patty's Day, which will be tomorrow when you see this. But there we go. We's all finished. What do you think of this final look? I really like how this turned out. It's definitely more vibrant than I was picturing in my mind. But I don't hate it, and I know a lot of you miss when I used to do more colorful looks. So this one's for you guys. And I still love color. I just tend to like to tone it back or make it a little bit more wearable for me with a neutral background, if you will, like a neutral crease. So um, I like this. I love all of the shades that I used today, which will be listed down below. And I hope you guys have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Whatever you do tomorrow, whether it's green beer, sauerkraut, or just wearing green so you don't get pinched. <laughs> and I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. I appreciate your time and that you clicked on this video and I will see you in the next one real soon.